Hallelujah. Praise God. Come on, give the Lord some praise this afternoon. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. He is worthy of all of you. Everyone need to come and sing. There's not more to sing since this morning, but we have time. We want to be clear that every one day fail away. That Jesus sing his yes. Everyone in here, every time to be tend to be a God who try to show off themselves, all of them must fade away. They are subject to the Lord Jesus, who is high in every other name. Hallelujah. 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 What's that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let all the other names say.
So we see it. So I just want to read two courses of scripture. One of them, very popular, the other one, very popular, but not as popular. Matthew 16, from verse 13. Jesus came to the rich of Caesarea Philippi. He asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say to all the Baptists, all of the Elijah, and said, All of Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. What about you? He asked, Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. This is not revealed to you by man, but by my Father in heaven. I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you find on earth will be found in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth will be loose in heaven. Then he warned his disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Christ. I want to jump from first from that scripture in Matthew where Jesus had been speaking to Peter and all disciples. So I let that speak himself through first Peter. Chapter 2. I want to read the entire chapter. Probably, let me start with verse 4. Let me start with verse 1. You can't get saved. Therefore, you yourself, yourself to all, yourself with all lies all and all deceit, the prophecy, envy, and sign of every kind. The newborn baby is crazy, pure spiritual men, so that when I you, we grow up in your salvation. Now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. As you come to him, the living stone, rejected by men, the chosen by God, and precious to him, you also, like living stone, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices, acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For his scriptures, he has laid a stone in Zion, a chosen and precious cornerstone, and the one who trusted him will never be put to shame. Now to you who believe, this stone is precious, but those who do not believe, the stone of the builders rejected has become the top stone, and a stone that causes them to stumble, and a rock that makes them fall. They stumbled because they disobeyed the message, which is also what they were listening for. But you are a chosen people, a royal, royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God, that you may declare the praises of him who call you out of darkness if it is wonderful light. Once we are not a people, but now we are the people of God. Once we have not received mercy, but now we have received mercy. These friends have urged you as aliens and strangers in the world to abstain from simple desires which war against your soul. There is such good as among the pagans that they that those that accuse of doing wrong, they may see a good deed going by God on the day you visit. Hallelujah. Oh God, what are they doing now? Thank you very much, worship team. Hallelujah. God is here. I'm excited this afternoon. Praise God. Thank you for all that. Good afternoon, everyone. That is so awesome. soon. I've been asked to share with a, with a national focus in mind. You know, we have a tradition as a church where when there's a national holiday, we tend to bring it out. Something keeping with it that will benefit the church. And we know that on Thursday we celebrate our fifty third Republican anniversary. And we have a lot of time to go on for. We have a lot of time to go on for. Right? And now we make it to make those analogies. We pass about century, we got to back, 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 there's no fault, right? That's a Republican um, nation. 
course, we read in bed and work on the but not much longer. A few years, a few years more than that. So we thank God for what is doing there. Can you put the hands together for Jesus? One is the one who is doing it in the nation. When you heard about the shadow engine, I can put a lot to be concerned about. Even as God is moving in land. I mentioned domestic violence and abuse, crime, poverty, immorality, political, racial, division, and all other things that can concern us. And sometimes when you read the news, you can become so depressed and heavy. But recently, I got a wedding minister to me. And I said this morning in the first service, I will at any point in time, they will wake me up in the middle of the night, to look at God and ask me, what is God doing in this season? What is God doing now? I ask him, will always be the stage. Jesus is building this church. He is building this church. So even you think all what you doing wrong, getting worse, and so you know whatever. Jesus Christ is still at work. He is still building his church. And even as we this morning as I have you were drinking bread and all that we pour, this church is fresh. But that is really sure that he's coming back for. He has a vested interest in his church. In his church, he will take care of his church. But because he's coming up, I'm sure he's coming up. I'm sure he's coming up. I'm sure he's coming up. So, for the next two minutes or so, I just want to share a lot of the lines. The church of Jesus Christ is building. The church of Jesus Christ is building. And one of the points I want to make in the two scriptures that I need, two passages that I read earlier, and we're going to we go back and tell us some more things along the way, depending on time. But we have four points I want to make. Nuggets, I believe that even as you study that, and you can see that God will read a lot more to you. There's a lot more that we can share to you. But the first one I want to make is that the church of Christ is building, is built on Jesus, and is built by Him. It is built on Jesus, and is built by Him. We read only that He's a cornerstone. In order to make the cornerstone was the main stone, the principal stone. You should place at the corner of the edifice of the building to guide you to the workers, the laborers, the contractors of the course the construction. So everything else has to line up and be aligned with that cornerstone. Similarly, I want to mention that whatever we do as a church, as a church, has to be aligned with the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything is not the foundation for the builder into the true church. It's a complete church. The true church is built by Jesus and He is the foundation. I'm very concerned that there are many who appear to look in their own kingdoms and you can choose them as a problem. So the debate now goes much concerned about themselves and how they look at what they do and their legacy or whatever. And they do the name of Jesus. They look good to stop or give them all legitimacy. But the church belongs to him and him alone. Not man. Not man. So who does not belong to the best one? This is not his church. He does not belong to the best one. 
church of Jesus Christ. He is the one who 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 is the one who
all the time, we say no, the church is not a physical structure. You know that. But sometimes you don't really act like that. Because when you come to church, it's far from the of society. So that there is a, a distinction between what happens in the house, what the house of God, and what happens in the house of Scripture. The reason we realize is that the church consists of many people who are being who are being shaped in a spiritual edifice. And these seven stones must be in alignment with the cornerstone of Jesus Christ. We must be in alignment with the cornerstone. Ephesians 3. That is the 22 of the foundation in the Metapostle and Prophets, which is quite the chief cornerstone. They have the foundation. The point we were there, but the fault to me is that Jesus is the middle of it. He is the foundation. And because we are living stones, we are not dormant or stagnant. For we are being transformed daily. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. God is making this church more glorious. You see, we are going to be all that we go to be wrong in church. I want to have your church that will. You go your heart. God is God is business out. This is his church business. We read for the stuff that the temple of Solomon built a physical structure. Then the physical structure. And in earlier chapter we call the glory of the house. So we need to have a glory of the forms and this place of graphics. Think about it. The church the church that Jesus is building is far more glorious than any physical structure. Far more glorious than any physical structure. I mean another point, I mean another point quickly. We read it, we read it in First Peter two. It says you also the living stones are being built into a spiritual house. It is a spiritual houses. The book that is one church. What church is the one? Is the one. We are going to be part of this, of this part of the world. It's one church. And that's where we are going to become every nation and tongue. The glory of the universe is the first nation of the church. It's beautiful. Here's the Lord's approach to the conference in Indonesia. That was in the percent is over 160 countries, I think, beyond. But we really enjoy the worship time because literally we were singing songs in different languages. People of every nation had come out here worshiping God. We sing a Chinese song, we sing a, a, a song in English, in Spanish, in French, in some other language, and it's so rich. We like to We never see that when we don't sing it until the translation of it. But you have your own experiences, you have never come out of the world, even though we're in the But we come together in this place, worshiping, and worshiping the truth and living God. So let people wear a condition at all. Hallelujah. 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 Little stones. Little stones. And part of the little stones. Realize that where we go. We are the part of his presence. We have that foundation. In, in, in Matthew, when I um, just asked a question, he said, he asked me yeah, to respond, and read the card, he said that the response was actually put it in as a collective response to all the disciples. Uh, he had answered them all and based on the structure that did everything. But what was on the road today is one thing. I, I like when said you are Peter. And upon Peter being around, upon this rock, upon the people of the last revelation, 
Christ is, I would have been, I would have been my church. church. I used to say, I used to say, we have a fresh revelation from Christ. We have a good cause to always say that. Because we can get a fresh revelation of Christ and the end of our spirit. And you're confused. So how do you end up here? How the spirit of doing God for so long? Revelation, revelation of the gift of Christ has to light up with his word. Has to light up with his word. Can we not have a funny idea? What it means about when he is Jesus or not, or Yeshua, or what we call him, and all of a sudden he get caught up in. Serve the Lord. And serve it faithfully. Serve him. Serve him faithfully. The church is Christ's building. First one is built on Jesus, that's built by him. Consists of living stone. And it reflects the priestly nature of the believer, or represents the priestly nature of the believer. And it's a sermon that the priest, the sermon that is offered that we were free. And it's very close to that, you know, it says, Hi, priestly, the Lord of the believer. Look at someone drawing three numbers here. When we look at the role of Christ in the Bible, we realize that they were sanctified. And the church of Jesus Christ ought to be sanctified. And this being sanctified by Jesus himself. The Lord Jesus the Lord sanctifies us, the word of God washes us. Purity and holiness are still Christian virtues, godly virtues. Young and old, and in between. For too long, when people have the idea of your people, your people doing that, and your people doing that, and it's a lot of sin that your people come up to adults too. I was just where I had a champion person. And the first actions were born. And they said, What do you say about the CA and all of this? He said, How much is the example for me? And he did that because I remember, and it took some this is passing. Very few things about CCB made a reference in your business life. He didn't go to any details and I didn't even ask any questions. But then, as you got to explain a few things, I realized what he was talking about. And I realized really with the impact that parents have on children. So the context I had is also text them when I'm home, these people are around. What's wrong with that? Oh, what's wrong with that? That makes sense to you. Another little talk here, go back to the scriptures. The town is the first responsibility for the God or the first institution of discipleship in the Bible. We try to get the literature to the school, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Amen. The town is the one supposed to be right, God be the child. Praying for, uh, again, I have a national focus. Praying for the nation should be part of the session. So, what's our movement of the party? That God's will. So, the prayer was about it, that's how we pray all the people. Yeah, the is not belong to any party of government. 
Yeah, he loves to Jesus. Yeah. He is a minister of this land. Let him have his way. Pray the word of God in Guyana. Yeah. Pray, pray. For the nation. Pray for the people of Guyana. For the believers in Christ. It will be a commitment to intercession. Don't start off hot and sweaty and then get tired after the door. Open that's what they're called to do. You're representing the people, God's people, to God. They're also service oriented. I will bring it to the offering and appropriate sacrifice. One of the largest things that last year is for service to the Lord and it being sacrificial. And this which is very complicated. I came across it a few years ago, but it's come back to me again and again. And they were served to the um to the priest. And we used to take this kind of time of work and work thing. And we used to give the Lord from the Lord burnt offerings that cost me nothing. You can't serve God lazy. Give the Lord a letter. Yeah. When you're tired of you, you're all right. And you can't even live the stages of life. I give God this. All right, all right, do everything and then give God a little money here. A little bit of time here. Give God your best. Please give God the best. If you don't want a requirement of the sacrifice, how perfect it is to be. And I've never considered why it's called the reference to sacrifice for it. In the midst of the worst, of the worst moment of your life, when you don't have hope, when you really are ready to give, Lord, I will give you a praise that costs me something. I will not feel it. I will not have it. I will not have much to give. I will not have much to give. I will make a sacrifice of praise. Some of us don't rest on priorities. I hope you don't people sometimes you can't do certain things. But there's something else to do with the five types of words. And I know this as well. He says, when I don't bash them, I don't get too much to bash them. We call this me this me. The peace of God, the church of God is building. Represents. represents. The priesthood of the believer. And in the world outside, looking in, no one expects from priests. And that's why we are the one that we are. Let God perfect us. Come to see a chapter spoke about salvation, and you know, um, see salvation is both instantaneous and progressive. It's a working out of the salvation that we need to do. That's why even breaking bread is so important. Because it brings us back to where it started. The sacrifice that Jesus made to redeem mankind. The second Adam I want to remind us that it's coming again. It's not dead. It's coming again for a church. No spot. Hallelujah. 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 
That's what points. The church, which is this building, has authority. Has authority. We are doing the peace of kingdom we read earlier. The keys symbolize the civil authority. But one is one that ultimately we are still submitted to the will of God. But when you get the keys, there's some things that you that God owes you because it is in his own purpose. Or he's telling you something that not his will, and you don't know what happened. So you don't know what exactly you are losing and what you are finding. I mean, talk about the will of God. I used to talk about it was your parents' house and not the kids at a certain age. But then all of you guys know what? It is you really want to love me on this. You can love me on the inside. I have access to come in. But you decide you don't want to come to the internet. You come in, he you blow your keys in your hand. Because I have to submit to the will of my spirit. And that's why we have to submit to the will of God. So when we eat and worry for you, shall we find we have to ensure that we are doing a life and for the chief God's soul. So I never got to lock them, so don't worry. Now we have people in this circle, two young people in the present, and you have to find yourself home. You live in the spirit of all women and servants, you need to start that move home. Submission to authority. I can show. I can show. I can show. I can handle. You can handle the authority. And Ephesians, in, in Ephesians 3, 10, that I mentioned last week when he was preaching. Ephesians 3, 10. His intent, are we reading? Okay, let me read for a second. I became a servant of this gospel as if the gospel is given me through the working of his power. Although I'm less than the least of all God's people, this grace was given to me to push the Gentiles to the unsearchable riches of Christ. I can make plain to everyone that I'm a Christian of this mystery, which is ages past was kept hidden to God, who created all things. His, his intent was that now to the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms, according to his eternal purpose, which he accomplished in Christ Jesus for the Lord. I remind you, this is demonstrate the manifest wisdom of God. The wisdom of God is empowered around. And that's why I believe very strongly that the church of Christ, the believers in Christ, the believers of Christ, the living of Christ, the living stones, that we have to be strategic in what we do. We bet they God's name is church, we call laborers. But in this season, I believe God's raising up in this of one across the body of Christ. So strong prophetic voices. Strong prophetic voices. Every direction. And I'm not saying just see how it's car and that looks at it. So with the sense of move of God and see no one is going this area. You're going to go and 
about your life. Say, look, you're a reaper of our rich harvest now. Who are kingdom minded? It's a rich harvest of souls in this nation. I believe the Lord wants us to harvest. <laughs> we right now. I will not open it to you. I really want us to, as we come back to national focus, I have already left in point. When you think about the church that Christ is building, the church, the church that he is perfecting, the church, the church that has become even more glorious, those are some introspection and believe that individual believer, are we becoming more glorious? Are we being really perfected? And as we come together with that is no one, we are ready to go break the heart in fact as improvements that God wants us to have. Again, we said one church. And that would be said before. I'm always concerned when we get tight denominations along the national lines. So Lord, in the name of Jesus, we like to put God's self fellowship for this boy that. Let the main thing be the main thing. Right? And Jesus Christ be the, be the main thing. I don't say type of the in anybody. But some people we don't want type of the way. That's a trap of the enemy. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to tell my sister. I don't know what happened to this. You see, go on. Go, go. The only for God, just go. So I went so I went and said, she was okay with going. I said, I don't feel me or talk to somebody that she won't wish to work. Do it all what to do. I told her the spirit will do it. Now I think I'm sure this time. But it was such a blessing there. Because indeed there's a hunger for God. And then there was so much more we can do in our styles. Mr. Mr. Oh God, we are going to the body of Christ. And we let them be our vast stronger together. If we come together with authority, and we drive out the demons, and let the signs of hope that Christ has given us, we will see the transformation in our communities, in the nation, in the region, in the world. And it's not for us to feel good and say, look what the Lord needs me to do. Then we get transmission and you know, titles and everything. You know, these days, when you buy the six months and they say, oh, there's an apostle, and then they say, oh, yeah, let me call an apostle or something fancy. Not only the apostles, but even apostles. But, you know, man, the title doesn't matter. It's a poem in you. Jesus Christ is the one who is looking after this church. He is the one who is building this church. He is the one who is looking after Guyana. He is, the one, he is the one who is shaping, who is shaping this church to be a prophetic voice in the nation. And he is the one who is calling us to pray for the end. Pray for our leaders. Vision is not easy. So we also put the sides, put the sides to the side, but we can't need anything. Go to God and say, you don't need this home. Where's the wisdom? You don't need this home. Amen. I'll just be very, very sure you know. What do you think this 
what needs to be done. And what do you have to do with it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Prayer for the nation. This is what you've got to pray some of the ministries in Georgetown. I'm a friend of brother. I'm sorry, I'm going to the point that they really love the Sabbath. Or we should be moved men. Or the prayer who start. So must like the preach, we don't like the pray. So must like the pray, we don't like the preach. We need both. 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 We church. Lord, invade your church today. We invade this land today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Jesus. Everybody pray. Hallelujah. Son of the living God. Today we pray 
in the mighty name of Jesus, that God, you're going to continue to build your church. You're going to build your church in this nation. Your church is going to stand up and be a light to this nation, God. A light to this nation. And we pray that in Jesus' name. And we pray, God, that you're going to reach out to all the corners of this nation. And the light of your gospel is going to penetrate every part, every region. Every Indian God is the mighty name of Jesus. We declare the end of the church, the church of Jesus, is power. The church of Jesus, Jesus, is power. Power, God. We are we are we are we are we Bless your church. Bless your church. Bless your people, God. We declare that in Jesus' name. Continue to guide us. Continue to bless us, God. As we do it all with your mighty hands. We thank you for your word. We thank you for our dear brother, our God. And the insight and the revelation that you have given to him, you have given to him concerning the church. These are the kind of insight that we need in these times. I am sure God has been made in the church. The church has been in the church. The church that has been on you. The church that has been on you, God. We declare that today. I pray for your blessing upon this church. You are going to bless this church. You are going to bless the mandate that you have given to them, God. And I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that this church is going to go forward. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen.